he is having an enormous season. 24 touchdowns passing, three more rushing, had a huge game to win over Duke, passed for 380 yards, three TDs, rushed for 70 more yards. Carolina outlast Duke last week, 38-34 or 35. They play Pitt on Saturday. Their quarterback, Drake May, is my guest. Drake, it's great to have you on. How are you? Great. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me on. I'm doing yeah. well. Just Good. Uh, happy we got a bye week this week and uh, just finished our practice this morning and uh, just hanging out. So. I get it. I like it. All right. I'll talk to you about that bye week in a minute, but you're coming off an enormous win. I would imagine as a redshirt freshman, although you had some action last year, this is going to be a year of firsts. That was your first rivalry game at Duke in their place, hostile environment, you know, North Carolina v. Duke. That's a big time thing. What was it like to be in the middle of that? And how would you describe that vibe overall? Oh, it was it was unbelievable. You know, credit to Duke. They brought, you know, the crowd. They had the light show going. Uh, they were pumping in music, uh, giving them some problems, you know, with hearing. Um, but, you know, came out with the victory. Um, you know, our defense made a huge stop. To, uh, it gives us a chance to get the ball back in two minutes. And, uh, you know, what can you ask for besides a game-winning drive against your rivalry um, to take home uh, what we called the victory bell was what we played for against Duke. Um, that seven-mile, you know, they're right down the road. And uh, the first rivalry game for me, it was just uh, awesome to – He'll come with the, with the win at their place, and this just goes to show um, we got something special here building in Chapel Hill, and uh, just looking forward to the rest of the season getting back after it. Drake May joining us. You mentioned that game-winning drive. Let me ask you about that. You led the team on that 74-yard game-winning drive in the final moments. What were you thinking, like your mindset, when you started that drive, and what were you telling your guys in the huddle? Oh, you know, the, the number one thing I was saying is we're going to win this game. I think – you know, being on the road last year, uh, we struggled on the road. I don't think we won one game. Um, so just trying to flip that narrative and uh, just just telling my guys we're going we're gonna to come out with a win um, on the road against, you know, a rivalry game. Uh, just kind of, you know, I felt like the script was wrote, was wrote already. Just uh, finish the game out and uh, put them away and uh, just finish going home and get back on the bus and uh, just, just just be happy with the win. I was just – we had a couple big fourth down. We had a fourth down where I found Josh um, on a scramble play. Uh, just trusting my guys up front. Um they were dropping eight and just uh, just trying to make plays and, and finish finish off drop the touchdown and we did that and uh, that last play you can show is the game of inches you know Antoine Green um, was about as close as you can get on the sideline that last that last touchdown play um, so just just credit to our guys for you know trusting each other and. Uh, it's just a huge win for us. You know, I was going to ask you about Antoine. You found him, and he was able to stay in balance in the corner. What were you looking for on that play? I mean, was that the guy that you were looking for? And tell me about that play. What did you see? Yes, sir. Yeah, we, we were three by one. So we were trips to the left um, with our back actually going to the left, too. So it was really, we call it four strong. Um, I was really supposed to look left, but we, our protection up front, we were, we were only five up front. And uh, they had a, a guy come off the edge three to the right. Um, so I was just trying to. Look left, so I try to make it feel like uh, that 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 end didn't think I saw him, and just just scurried the pocket to the right. Um, and AG was kind of in a tussle with him in the back of the end zone, ended up throwing him by and coming back to the football. And it's something we repping every day in in practice. We did him with a one minute drill and uh, just making the play on the sideline. And I think we had a, a similar play earlier in uh, the first half, that same kind of toe tap situation on the sideline. Just finishing out and uh, making a huge play. We're talking to Drake May, Carolina quarterback. Listen, I know it's not. I know it's not, but you're making it look relatively easy. I'm curious, what has the transition to the college game been like for you, and did you expect to have this kind of success this quickly? Oh, yeah. You know, I credit to, you know, to my teammates. Um, this, this type of offense, Coach Longo, you know, he preaches, you know, get open guys in space, get fast playmakers, and that's what we got. You know, up front, they're doing a, they're doing a great job um, giving me time, and so my job is just to disperse the ball to those guys and then let them make plays. Um, just kind of sitting last year um, behind Sam, uh, who's a heck of a player, just kind of being in his back pocket, um, seeing how he did things. Um, really has bowed well for me, just kind of you know, learning from him and taking away, soaking it up all in last year. And uh, just feel like that's really uh, gone a long way for me this year and, and just proven to our success um, that we can – to keep things going. And I also feel like we haven't even played our best ball yet. There's a lot of you know decisions I could do better and I've missed some throws, some easy throws that could be touchdowns. So just trying to uh, keep getting better and uh, get back after Pitt next weekend as we got a big one at home. I got to say, Mac Brown is one of my all-time favorite people. And I don't mean just in college football. I mean, and not even just in sports. I mean, he is one of my all-time favorite people. What's he like to play for? Oh, it's unbelievable. You know, it's it's a player's dream to play play for a coach like, like Coach Brown. Um, it's really you know, one of the main reasons why I ended up coming here, uh, just, just seeing him coming back, and uh, he got had the whole state, you know, ready, you know, for his for his appearance. And uh, I think, you know, he's, he's recruiting, recruiting unbelievable. And uh, I think the best thing about 
what we got here is not, the players not only are, you know, good football players, they're great people. Um, we got a great coaching staff, and uh, Coach Brown's really, you know, there's the, the ultimate, you know, players coach, and uh, he's just always taking care of us. And, uh, you know, whenever, you know, our, our playing days are done, uh, he'll be there for us. And uh, he's just, you know, at the end of the day, um, he's always going to, you know, take our side. And as you, you can see in some of the games, he's going to get on the refs, and he's always going to, you know, support us. And I think it's just, you know, it's awesome. It's unbelievable. Right. And uh, it's just a great opportunity to play for Coach Brown. I, I think it's tremendous. You know that he loves you. He cares about you. And I also love that he's been in this thing, Drake, as long as he has. He's evolved. He's changed. He's not like that old school guy who only knows one way, who's like just so dogmatic, like, I'm not changing my way or the highway. Like, he's paying attention. He's evolving. Let me finally ask you this. You mentioned that it is the bye week. You're talking about Pitt. I like that. I like that mindset. So how do you personally approach that bye week, and how do you make sure that you and all your teammates are locked in, doing the right things, and thinking the right things to get ready for that game on the 29th? Yes, sir. Yeah, we got we got three practices this week. Um, just just trying to get back after it. You know, we're we're looking a little bit at Pitt. Um, got some some stuff going in for them, and then they get they got a, a Louisville this weekend. So we'll, we'll watch that game and uh, really just just trying to tune up the little things. Because um, you know, Coach Brown was preaching um, in, the, in the meeting yesterday. You know, the little things turn in, into big things. So uh, just fixing up you know footwork for me and uh, just you know like 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 defensive uh, defensive game plan stuff. You know, they got a tough. Um, Tough track against you know Pittsburgh. They they're running back good players. So uh, just trying to find ways to uh, you know get better in the off week and really just get healthy. You know the off week uh, gives a chance to get healthy um, and get some guys back. And uh, we're just looking forward to that that home crowd um, next Saturday night, um, eight o'clock against Pitt. Should be a fun one. Actually, I meant to ask you one last thing. I know it's about the team and getting ready for Pitt. You're putting up huge numbers, though. I'm curious. What's it like to hear your name now in the Heisman Trophy conversation as a redshirt freshman? Uh, I don't know about all that. Yes, sir. Um, I have to some talk about it, but, you know, really just um, just focus on, on doing my part for the team. And, uh, you know, my teammates are, are the ones uh, that get it to deserve all the credit. You know, without them, I'm, 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 I'm not a player at all. Um, but, you know, I've always had ultimate confidence myself and uh, feel like, you know, anytime uh, we go out there um, with our explosive offense and, uh, you know, with our defense making big-time plays, we got a chance to beat anybody and uh, we can score some points. So it's been fun. UNC coming off that big win over Duke. They're back in the top 25. They take on Pitt, 8 p.m. Saturday, October 29th. Their quarterback is Drake May. Drake, great to have you on the show. Thanks so much. Good luck. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir.